Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we're discussing the rule that says a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Now, what this means is, if you had to take a to the power of 3 over a to the power of 3, from previous videos you'd know that if you take any number and you divide it by the same number, you'd always get 1. So if I've got 5 over 5, it would equal to 1. In this case, a over 3 divided by a over 3 is equal to 1. Using exponential rules, we would have said a to the power of 3 minus 3. Because the division rule says you take the top and you subtract the bottom. Or if you're moving the a from the bottom to the top, the sign of the exponential power changes, which will equal to a to the power of 0. Therefore, this would equal to 1. Another example would be when I gave you a to the power of minus 3 times a to the power of 3. If we were going to move this down using our exponential rules, as soon as we moved the a to the power of negative 3 down, it would change its sign. The power would change the sign to a positive giving us a to the power 3 over a to the power 3, which is equal to 1. If we were just simply using exponential rules, as in the law 1, where we add the powers, then we would have had minus 3 plus 3, which is equal to a to the power 0. Again, proving that a to the power 0 is equal to 1. Now, when we are using this rule, we must be careful that we don't randomly put a 1. Take for example, I gave you 3 open brackets, 5 a squared b close brackets to the power of 0. The part that is attached to the power of 0 is the entire bracket. The 3 is not attached to the power 0. Therefore, only the entire bracket would become 1 giving us a final answer of 3. Let's take the next example. Minus 7 to the power of 0, m, p to the power of 2. Now, the, the 7 to the power of 0 is where the power of 0 lies. You will notice that the minus is not in brackets. Neither is it attached to the power of 0. So our answer would be minus 1 for the 7 to the power of 0, m p squared. It is advisable that you highlight the part. Many times you will see pupils get rid of the negative sign, thinking that it's attached to the 0. Or in, this, in the first example, they make the entire answer equal to 1. So be careful how you use the power of zero. Thank you for watching.